As a nation, we've never been more health conscious. We're smoking less, eating healthier foods and exercising. Why then are our chances of developing breast cancer dramatically increasing, with the experts blaming our lifestyles? I suppose that there is a perception that amongst many people that yes I am, am doing my bit but the, the general figures on things like obesity and alcohol intake are not suggesting actually that as a nation we're particularly healthy so what I'm saying is until we start changing things we aren't going to see that drop in breast cancer incidence and it's going to potentially continue to rise in 1984 one in 13 women were expected to develop breast cancer in their lifetime in 2004, this figure reached 1 in 10. We're warned that unless we all change our lifestyles, it's expected that by 2024, 1 in 7 women will develop the disease. But many women who've battled breast cancer say they were leading a healthy life before their diagnosis. I've never smoked. I do drink, and I think I'm just as guilty as the next person of having you know, three or four glasses of wine as opposed to one or two. Um, but I've always eaten lots of fruit and vegetables, very little processed food, lots of fish, uh, you know, very little processed meat and things like that. So what are women left to think? Generally out there, a lot of people, they, they do eat, drink too much. They don't really bother about the body. On one end, you've got people saying that you need to have three good meals a day. Other people saying you need to graze constantly throughout the day. So you just, you don't know what's the right thing to do, really. In one week, it's okay to do this, then the next week, it's not. And it's very confusing. A few years ago, a glass of wine a day was good for you. Now that's too many units a week. The forecast is alarming, but we're told it's reversible. Only we know how much we eat and exercise and what changes we're prepared to make. Michelle May, Sky News, Manchester.